everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do my Panda palette update and I am filming this update in August. I know I'm super late. I've been kind of busy. We have a lot of things going on in the house, you know, the back to school. We had a new business and we had quite a few things that were out of the ordinary and it was just taking so much time out of me to the point that, you know, I was even getting sick myself. So I had to take a little time off and uh, take the time to deal with the stuff that needed to be dealt with or dealt with and yeah today I'm going to show you how I'm doing because I continue to use the Naked 2 palette uh, throughout this Time. So I didn't do that much in the Vice 2 palette. So I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about that palette because I really didn't touch it. But I will continue to use it, and hopefully you will see a little bit more progress for next month. If you're interested in checking out this series from the beginning and seeing how I started with these products and actually these palettes, then I'll have that playlist on the top of the screen right now so you can check it out. However, today I'm going to show you how I'm doing. Um, even though I use it quite a bit, I mean, I did finish a couple of eyeshadows and hit pan in a new one, but I still feel like I could have done a lot better for, you know, the time that I took since the last update. But let's get started. As always, I'm going to put a close up so you can take a look, um, really up close and the differences between the last update and this one. So. The first shade that, and, and actually the one that I hit pan this month, is the color Foxy. Now, I told you guys that I've been using this continuously since I started this project and I thought that I would never, go, I was never going to hit pan. However, as you can see right there, it's just a little bit, but it's enough to encourage me to kind of continue to use it. I'm thinking I might repress it, I'm not sure, but if it gets to the point that it's still kind of hard and you know not so easy to pick up with the uh, with the brush then I'll probably do that but as of right now I mean I'm gonna continue to use it for a little bit longer like this. Now the next shade is the color Half Baked. I already finished that in another update so I didn't have to work on that one. Booty Call was another shade that I already finished and I just didn't have to work on that one. Then the next shade is the color Chopper and that is the one that I finished recently. Uh, again, it's like the other ones. It does have a little bit of eyeshadow in the corners, but not enough to say I'm going to continue to use it. I'm going to call it done. The next color that I already finished, I think two updates ago or maybe the last update is the color Tease. So I didn't have to work on that color either. And I like to tell you about these things because maybe if you're new to this, you're like, okay, she finished all these eyeshadows, you know, in just, you know, a couple months. No, not really. This was done already. The next one is another one that I finished recently and it's the color snake bite now for this one it was kind of challenging because I didn't like the color but I paired it with a color pop eyeshadow and I will have a couple um, tutorials showing you how I'm using the eyeshadows on this palette hopefully coming up soon I just have to edit them but I do have already the footage so yeah the snake bite it's completely completely done it wasn't the easiest eyeshadow to finish but I'm happy that it's already done. The next shade that I have right here is the color Suspect and as you can see I do have quite a bit of progress and that is kind of a difficult shade for me so I will focus on this shade and the next one that I still have here and I'll talk about that in just a minute but the next shade is the color Pistol. Pistol is uh, another shade that I finished previously and I'm kind of missing for the shades that I still have in this palette. So I will, I mean, I will try to find something in my collection. I meant to do that for the last couple of months and I just didn't. Now I moved down back here since the kids are going to go back to school and I'll have a little bit of more quiet in this area so um, I'll go through my makeup collection again and try to find something that is similar to pistol because I really feel that if I find something like it I can pair it with the colors that I have left in this palette and it will be I don't know a little bit easier for me to pair it with the shades the next one is something that I have a little bit of progress not too much but it shows and it's the color verb again this is another hard shade for me it's more of a glittery silver color that is not easy for me to pull off 
but it's still something that I'm working on. I am trying to use it in the inner corner. I'm trying to use it to highlight the brow bone. I'm trying to use it as a base and then put another eyeshadow on top. It's just one of those shades that I really have to hide it or find the perfect pair, but it's not one of those shades that I can put all over the lid and walk out the door in case I wanted to give it a little bit more use. The next one I already finished, but it's the color White Decay. That was done, I think, a couple updates ago, and I am really glad because that, I think that was the chunkiest eyeshadow and the one that I was losing the most when I was trying to apply it. The next color I already, as you can see right there, I mean, I've been working really hard on this shade, and this is the color Busted. It's a beautiful, but it's just it's just one of those shades that I wonder why they put it here, because if it was a matte brown, I think it would make a lot more sense in this palette, but a shimmery brown that is this dark, it really is hard to use it in the outer corner properly, or something that I like how it would look on myself. So finally, and I, I kind of forgot that I hit pan on this one, and I don't think I shared it in my last update. I haven't watched it, but uh, I think this is a new pan as well, and this is in the color Blackout. I've been using Blackout in my crease with a very small taper brush. Now, it's going to sound weird because sometimes, you know, in the crease area, we usually want something that will give us a little bit of depth, but not too dark. But I really wanted to give it a lot more use of what I was doing with it, was basically using it as an eyeliner. Don't get me wrong, I got a lot of progress using it as an eyeliner and the Graftobian, let me see if I have it here and the Graftobian Magic Set, which is this little thing here. And I use it a lot and I made a lot of progress. But then I was like, I want to see how far the pan is. So I started to use it more as an eyeshadow and find different ways to use it as an eyeliner and as an eyeshadow as well. So I was using it in the outer corner, but I realized that the shadows that I finished the uh, fastest are the ones that I use in my crease. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try this and what I did is basically get a very small taper brush and only apply it wherever the crease is. I don't go above, I don't go below, and when I blend, I blend with a brown. So it kind of creates depth, but at the same time, it, it, you're using a lot of the black eyeshadow, but it doesn't look black. I'm gonna do a tutorial and show you how I've been using that shade. And hopefully if you're trying to pan a black eyeshadow, this is going to help you as well. Again, I don't have any progress on my Vice 2 palette. I didn't use it that much. Um, I have a few shades that since the last update, um, I used uh, quite a few times, but nothing that you will be able to see a difference. So I don't see the point to show you something that it's going to look pretty much the same. However, I will continue to use that palette. I think I'm gonna start to use some of the shades to incorporate color to those looks that I've been creating with the Naked 2. I've been concentrating a lot in the uh, on this eye palette and I really want to finish it as soon as possible. So I was um, kind of reflecting on it uh, and you know, I told you at the beginning of the year, this is a, something that I want to stick with because I want to have a better idea if I end up loving cool tone eyeshadows or the Urban Decay formula or not, or I hate it so much that every time I see it at the store, it won't be something that I will be tempted to buy. And at this point, I'm in the second category. I don't think that I will ever, I don't wanna say ever, but I don't think that I can be tempted by Urban Decay anymore unless the formula that they come up with is different from what the Naked palettes are. And I'm talking, and I'm speaking in general because I've tried the Naked one, I return it. So I, I don't know if it's just my personal preference or if I'd rather use something with a different formula. Right now, my favorite, favorite formula of all time is MAC because I like how it blends, I like how it works, I like how pigmented they are, I like that they never get muddy, and I just feel like you have a great variety of colors that you can choose from in just the same line. So you don't really have to go to different lines. Oh, okay, I need a green, then I'll have to go to Urban Decay because they have wild color. No, I feel like I can find them there. So again, and that is just an example. I have other eyeshadows formulas that I like. I like the Mary Kay one. I like the ColourPop one. I mean, I have different formulas that I like, but I just feel like this is a good lesson that I needed to learn this year. 
and this is something that yeah it ended up teaching me up until this point that I don't like cooler eyeshadows as I suspected at the beginning of the year so I'm kind of confirming what I thought when I started this project um, however I did enjoy the color pistol and that is a cool tone shade and I think that I would love to have something and, and I think I think that pistol looks a lot like granite from MAC so correct me if I'm wrong or if you have them both would you tell me if they are very very similar because I would be I think it's granite from Mac but anyways uh, I think that I'm gonna have to find something that is similar or maybe buy the color pistol in a single eyeshadow and put it in a Z palette and that way I can have that color that I do enjoy very much and I don't have in my collection so Anyways, that is it for my Panda palette. I'm hoping to do a lot more videos or record a lot more videos this week that the kids are back to school and be a little bit more regular here on YouTube. Again, we have a lot of things going on and when you start a new business and when you are busy getting things started and customers and things, it's kind of hard to keep up with, uh, you know, this YouTube um, space and that I have with you guys so thank you so much for watching this video again if you want to see more panning projects or if you want to see more about pan that palette or if you're interested in tutorials using some palettes that I panned and finished completely I will have a playlist that will pop up on the top of the screen and in the description box down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video mm -hmm.